Come back to Ulster Rugby from Doncaster. Have you enjoyed your three pre-season friendlies so far? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a good step up. Um, obviously, it was a good, good experience playing the championship last year. Um, and I thoroughly enjoyed being back and looking forward to starting the season. Do you see many changes about New Forge and about Ulster this season? Uh, I think uh, a mentality, really, more than anything. Uh, everybody's willing, having to work hard. Obviously, with a new coach, and everyone's trying to impress. And nothing's going to come easy for anyone. It's a long time since Ulster has started so positively at the, at the, in a pre-season friendly. You usually go to France and lose. I went to France to be on and won. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the guys put in a good shift over in France. Um, I don't think, um, I think Bayonne, having beaten us pretty thoroughly last year, weren't really expecting much of a challenge and we've certainly stuck up to them. Uh, last week against Leicester, we fronted up right here against, uh, against them um, in front of a good Ravenhill crowd. And we did the same tonight, except we just didn't play quite as well and weren't really... That's clinical. Now fourteen all last week, and it wasn't just a makeshift Leicester team; it was a fairly experienced one. Yeah, absolutely. They had a few internationals, um, quite close to their Heineken Cup starting team, so it was a very positive result for us um, with such a young side out to to produce the goods against them and to stand up and fight against them. Um, obviously, we'd have, we would have liked to have taken a win. Um, but we'll, we'll take anything we can get out of a pre-season game. The result doesn't really make that much of a difference in pre-season. It's all about performances and putting the right foot forwards for the start of the season. Well, tonight's game was a good first half performance. Uh, a lot of uh, energy at the back of the scrum with uh, Nick Williams scoring the two tries. and Ulster were really moving forward. Yeah, um, I think the, the one area that we sort of struggled a wee bit on tonight was a breakdown. We weren't quite clinical enough at the breakdown. Um, whenever the game slowed up, we found it hard to start picking the pace up again. Um, we went back to our forwards and tried to tried to generate quick ball for the backs, and we weren't really able to do so. To be fair, to Newcastle, they get in, they get stuck in this up front. Um, our scrum was quite dominant at the times, and obviously it was good to have a new signing, getting his name on the score sheet a couple of times. I got loose in the second half with all the changes, and then this one left Ulster at the end, and, and Newcastle ran in a couple of scores. Disappointing finish, but all in all, a good game. Yeah, well, it's it's obviously a bit of a disappointing result from our point of view. We would have liked to be in a bit more clinical, score a few more points the week before the season starts. But it's better to have this sort of this sort of performance, like a bit of a rusty performance, the week before the season starts, rather than turning out and losing next weekend. Or hopefully, we'll learn from our mistakes this weekend and take all that we've learned over pre-season into our first game. Glasgow here for the first round of the the Pro Twelve. You'd be hoping to be involved in. Yeah, hopefully. Um, obviously, every, it's just about taking your opportunity in pre-season and putting putting your best foot forward. And hopefully, I'll hopefully I'll be involved next weekend. Michael, you've made an impressive start. Keep it going. Thanks.